Praise be to Jesus. Hi again, everyone. Charles with you. Um, well, lo and behold, uh, the next story I came across, um, I think, really brings into focus what I was talking about in the last video, which is if you look at the title I gave that, which I usually, the title I usually give things is pretty much the same title um, that's associated with the news story itself. Um, sometimes I shorten it, but, um, you know. Uh, so in this particular case, I actually made up this title because I, the title of it is, um, you know, that uh, Father Martin's position really collapses. Um, what, what Father Martin is trying to do is to, I believe, um, make us feel guilty about the way we treat um, people that have um, same-sex attraction and um, in this way get us to um, be more welcoming and accept uh, their behavior. Um, and I, I think the point of what I was trying to say last time is that this is not what it's about at all. Uh, it's about um, our clergy and hierarchy, um, and the hierarchy being, you know, if they're not committing this sin, maybe some bishops and cardinals are, you know, we just don't know it. Um, if they're not committing this sin, then they're committing, a, a, I would think, a very serious sin, uh, at least some of them, um, about, uh, co you know, covering up, the, uh, covering up uh, uh, what's come to light. So, excuse me. Um, so, um, what's happening here is now this is a story that I, I followed and I've made uh, several posts on. And um, the fact that uh, the mainstream Catholic media continues to cover this. Now, I'm going to read from the Catholic News Agency, which is very mainstream, and they've been covering this. And it goes to show you that um, they consider this to be newsworthy, and this is, uh, you know, very serious. All right, so I'm going to read a little bit of this to you. A priest who has been a key witness in the charge of rape against Bishop Franco Molokal of June Lahar died Monday, prompting a police investigation into his death. Father, boy, Katadhara, 62, was found unconscious in his room on October 22nd at St. Mary's Church in uh, Punjab, India. He had no visible signs of injury. He was declared dead after being transported to a local hospital. Um, Katadhara's brother, Jose Kurian, expressed doubt about police reports that the priest might have succumbed to cardiac arrest. My brother had talked to me a week before the death. He had expressed fear that something may happen to him. We can't believe the Punjab police version that my brother had died due to cardiac arrest. He has no history of heart ail ailments, uh, Kurian told First Post. The priest's family petitioned for an autopsy and investigation. It was filed with the something or other district superintendent of police who forwarded it to somebody else, chief minister. The priest had testified against Bishop Molokal, who was, who was been arrested, who was been arrested, that's what it says, on September 21st for allegedly raping a nun for over a course of two years. The nun, who is a member of the Missionaries of Jesus, brought the accusation forward in June. The police provided testim oh, the priest provided testimony to police about the case several weeks ago. Local Catholics say that others who have testified against the bishop have faced threats of retaliation. The nun said the abuse began in 2014 at her convent in uh, 
will of God. The bishop had denied all accusations and was released on bail October 15th. He is awaiting trial. All right, so, you know, what, what does this tell us? Well, you know, we don't know why this priest died. Um, you know, perhaps that will come to light. But what it does say is that uh, mainstream Catholic media and traditional Catholic sources, um, you know, that I mostly use, um, consider this to be very important. And why is it important? Now, this doesn't have to do with homosexuality. It has to do with a heterosexual sin, which I talked about in the last video. See, this is where Father, I think Father Martin's um, uh, whole premise uh, of trying to make us feel guilty uh, because he's really not focusing in on what the problem is. And that being, I'm going to state it again for those of you who didn't watch the last video, the real problem here is that uh, clergy and perhaps some cardinals and bishops are, um, you know, it's been shown that they've committed, um, you know, there's ample proof out there um, to say that they're, um, that they, they've been involved with not only you put the homosexual uh, homosexuality aside, see that's where you get sidetracked, because you know you're specifically defining defining the sin. What the problem is is that um, there are are there are teachers, there are leaders, they guide us in our faith, and, but yet here they are. They're like the Pharisees, you know. They talk one way, but their behavior is just the opposite. This is what the problem is, you see. And now here uh, we have a bishop who has nothing to do with homosexuality. This is serious heterosexual sin, all right? What does the Bible say? It talks about who doesn't inherit the kingdom of God. It's um, um, practicing homosexuals um, or same-sex sexuality. Um, it's um, um, fornicators who are like, um, you know, people who aren't married that live together, and adulterers, and adulterers nowadays are considered to be people who um, haven't gotten a, um, um, a divorce from the church. I can't remember what the name of that is. Um, and um, have, are remarried. You know, these are called adulterers. All right. So the, all of this, all, all of these are serious sins. And so, you know, the fact that this news uh, of this bishop um, is continually carried and followed by not only traditional Catholic media, but mainstream Catholic media shows that it's an important story. It's very important. You know, here's a man in a very powerful position. Um, who's allegedly um, having uh, heterosexual um, or forcing, you know, I mean, there could be rape involved here, you know. Um, I, I believe, you know, in the past that I've talked about uh, that part of it, um, you know, and you could say, why didn't she come forward earlier or whatever? Well, you know, I, there's always more to these stories than, you know, what, you, what you're going to read in the paper, so to speak, you know. You know, um, but, um, you know, it's, it's, this is really important. This really points out that it's not about homosexuality. It's not about us accepting homosexual. It's all about the sin of the clergy and our leaders, um, you know, the hierarchy, who are either uh, committing this sin or covering up this sin. And, you know, these, these are the people that are, are to lead us. And, um, you know, it's not, it, that's what the problem is. That's what the problem is. It's not specifically homosexuality. Um, I mean, that's what the, that's what's happening, yes. But if it was one of these other sins, um, you know, if it was, um, they were just, uh, they were, like I said before in the last video, if they were, uh, if what came to light was just um, the clergy and the hierarchy having sexual relationships with 
a heterosexual sexual relationship, it would still be a very big deal. It would still be a very big deal. So we'll continue to follow this story here, and we'll see. Um, you know, like it says, the priest family petitioned for an autopsy and an investigation. So we'll have to see what comes out of that. But um, you know, I, I see these kinds of stories all the time. Not necessarily with bishops, but with you know, a priest killed um, uh, a priest killed in Mexico or. In Nigeria, a priest's car runs off the road. Um, and then there was just um, another one where a bishop's house was um, fired upon and one of his bodyguards was killed. Um, you know, you're always wondering, like, you know, what's behind all the all these kinds of stories. Um, there's um, a, a story out of Buffalo which is very complicated and confusing about um, um, a, a priest who died under very suspicious circumstances. And, um, you know, you, you got to believe that, you know, among all these stories, some of these have something to do with um, cover-up and, you know, getting rid of those people who have information. Um, well, you know, this kind of thing has been going on since man's been on planet Earth, so there's, you know, nothing new here. Well, okay, so uh, we'll move on here, and uh, we'll talk to you later in the day, and um, I think that's about it for now here. I think I'll put up um, St. Michael's Prayer this time. Okay, bye. <laughs>